To the cripple who sat in the beautiful gate of the temple in Jerusalem, begging was a familiar life. It was all he knew, as he'd been unable to walk or move properly since the day he was born. Each day he was dropped off in the same spot, and each day he sat, hoping to earn just enough money to cover his basic needs. Today he expected no more or less as he watched Peter and John, apostles of Jesus, approach the entrance to the temple. The beggar called to them, Please, if you have anything to give. Peter and John looked intently into the eyes of the lame man, which startled him at first, because no one passing by had ever stopped to look at him before. But confusion gave way to expectation as he gestured toward the two, holding up an empty cup. Peter spoke kindly to the man. Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The words, rise up and walk, begged the attention of onlookers, who waited to see what would happen next. The crippled man's weak, shriveled legs had never been used before. Surely he would collapse back to the ground. They watched. At first he stood, then walked. Then all at once he was leaping about, and praising God. The people were filled with wonder and amazement over the miracle, and word quickly spread. Soon the crowd grew even larger, and they began to follow Peter and John into the temple, hoping for some explanation. While the healed man clung to the apostles, the fascinated crowd followed them into the temple courts. Peter turned and said, Why are you so impressed with us? as though we did this in our own power. Jesus, the Messiah who you rejected and crucified, is alive, and it is by the power in his name that this man walks. He continued boldly, Repent and turn back to God, and your sins will be forgiven you. The captain of the temple and the Sadducees, who didn't believe in the resurrection, were annoyed at the disturbance. There was something strangely familiar about the apostles' message. They arrested Peter and John and put them in jail overnight. But despite this opposition, many people believed in Jesus as the Messiah. On the next day, the religious rulers gathered together and began to question Peter and John. By what power or by what name do you do these things? Instantly, Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit and replied, let it be known to all of you that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who you crucified and God raised from the dead, by his name this man stands before you completely healed. He continued, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The rulers were astonished at the supernatural courage of these common, uneducated men. Then it occurred to them that they had been with Jesus. Finding no crime in healing the lame man, and fearing an uproar from the people who witnessed it, the rulers finally set the men free. But they warned them that if they ever spoke of Jesus again, they would most certainly suffer for it. The apostles were not afraid. They knew that God was more powerful than any ruler on earth, so they continued to preach Jesus everywhere they went, and the young church grew in boldness and great power.